Louise with Louise VKR and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a quick introduction here because I dive right into my video where I am going to be exploring more and experimenting more with my Cloud Pearl pores. So that's what I'm going to be doing, but I also wanted to say thank you to Aishu with Aishu's Crafty Kids Club for inviting me to this collaboration where we have Aishu, we have Donna by It's Not Just Paint, It's Art by Donna, and we also have Maria Louise from Maria Louise Art. And we also are going to be celebrating um, International Women's Day, where we're celebrating diversity, inclusion, and equality. So without any further ado, let's get started. These little canvases are going to get their work out. So what I did is I took my base pillow, which I've been using, with the apple barrel. And I added some satin enamel to it. Not a full dose by any means, probably a half a part. And then I added corresponding Floetrol <clears throat> Artist Loft apple barrel uh, to, to, to match it in water, to kind of match it all. So I just wanted to see what the Satin enamel from Decoart does with this recipe with the apple barrel. I never did look at the recipe with the Decoart satin enamel and the apple barrel. I think there might be something to that. So to recap the Cloud Pearl base now, not to be too confusing, I have two parts Floetrol, one part of the Artist Loft Apple Barrel and the Bear 7050, a half a part of the Decoart Satin Enamel, a splash of Gat Gate 100, and water to thin. And the first color down there was the Liquid Texas Pants Gray, the second color was Golden's Iridescent Bronze, and this is Bordeaux Red by Arteza. That's my gold, which is Modern Masters Gold and 24 Karat Gold by Decoart. This is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And the last color I'm putting down is Pebio's Iridescent Blue. And I'm going to return to real time as I start to tilt this out. Do I want to do anything with it? Just playing around. Where's my little... When I did this before, when I was first starting to learn how to do paint pouring, I always liked to play with swiping before I got ready to tilt. And I think I'll probably carry that forward as I explore this some more. See if I can save some of this turquoisey color. And to me, this is also part of the nuance of this technique is knowing how far to go in one direction to have enough paint to get you to the other direction so you can get pearls on all sides. And then knowing when to pull back and stop so that you don't get a bunch of wonky cells to start with. So I'm going to pick up the pace here at two and a half times the speed. I'm going to leave inset that picture on the top left that shows where we started from. And I'm just going to keep going through here, playing with it a little bit, and I'll come back in a minute. I'll be putting on some music in the meantime. So 
So notice here that I'm dipping the back of that skewer into the runoff of the base, and I'm going to dab it into the paint and create my own pearls that way. I know I've seen Sarah Taylor do this, and I guess Kathleen from Cos Creations does it as well, but I wanted to break up that section a little bit and just see what's gonna happen. hyper speed through this section put on some music I'm just going around some of the pearls to accentuate them and just playing around a little bit more here combination. So as I go forward here into the finish line, I am going to go on fast forward again with a close-up so you can see the little moves that I'm making, but all just little tiny embellishments and still trying to get familiar with how this paint is going to operate with me. And here I'm pointing out the fabricated pearls I added, and I'm gonna put on some music until the finish line. when I'm back to real time and here I'm just doing the final phases of the cleanup as I clean up the bottom of the canvas as I go forward. You pretty much always want to clean up the bottoms so the paint stops pulling and the composition stays put. But I like this. I'm gonna still keep tweaking. Still tweak. So that was an apple barrel. This was without. So I'm still trying to understand why and how the apple barrel helps give more pearls as I go forward. We'll see how it dries. So everyone, that's a wrap, but I'm gonna pause a moment for International Women's Day. There are countless women who have influenced my life, but I'd like to think I've influenced others as well. This letter written to me by a high school teammate from the 70s encapsulates who I am, and you may wanna to pause to read this. And I literally found this this morning and thought this was meant to be here. That nurturing and challenging environment of high school led me to go to West Point. I was in the fifth class that allowed women there. And I graduated in 1984. And then while in Germany at the 95th Military Police Battalion, my commander asked me to lead his security team on the 100 mile Nijmegen commemorative march. All honors and opportunities when women are given a chance. And then in the 1990s, I was inducted into my high school hall of fame. It is truly astounding what can happen when preparedness meets opportunities. And this not only goes for women, it goes for anybody out there. 
go and that's a wrap here are the final results i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new here please subscribe hit the bell and all you'll get all my latest art tutorials and stay tuned because i'm not done playing with this cloud pearl pour yet and i'm flashing up my playlist for my other cloud pearl pours if you want to take a look at other colors and compositions thanks a lot everybody take care till next time